Hello, it's Nancy today. Now, I thought I should explain some things about Mormons. We are the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints. Now, of course, I'm not typical. I'm a little strange. Most of them are much more normal and whatever than me. But I'm going to show you about this little book. It's called The Strength of Youth. For the Strength of Youth. And this is a, sort of a hand, handbook for the kids. You see, it starts with a picture of our Savior. Jesus the Christ. And then it's got a message from the First Presidency. I'm going to read it to you. Our beloved young men and women, we have great confidence in you. You are choice spirits who have come forth in this day when the responsibilities and opportunities, as well as the temptations, are the greatest. You are at the beginning of your journey through this mortal life. Your Heavenly Father wants your life to be joyful and to lead you back into His presence. The decisions you make now will determine much of what will follow during your life and throughout eternity. Because the Lord loves you, He has given you commandments and the words of prophets to guide you on your journey. Some of the most important guidelines for your life are found in this pamphlet. We testify that these principles are true. We promise that as you keep these standards and live by the truths in the scriptures, you will be able to do your life's work with greater wisdom and skill and bear trials with greater courage. You will have the help of the Holy Ghost. You will feel good about yourself and will be a positive influence in the lives of others. You will be worthy to go to the temple to receive holy ordinances. These blessings and many more can be yours. We pray for each of you. May you keep your minds and bodies clean from the sins of the world so you can do the great work that lies before you. We pray that you will be worthy to carry on responsibilities of building the kingdom of God and preparing the world for the second coming of the Savior. The first presidency. Isn't that nice? Okay, now, it's broken down into sections. The first is agency and accountability. And the scripture that this relates to, there's two scriptures. One is 2 Nephi 2.27, and the other is Matthew 25.14-19. No, 14-29. Wherefore, men are free to choose liberty and eternal life through the great mediator of all men, or to choose captivity and death. It's very important that we have free choice. So, agency and accountability is the name of this section. Your Heavenly Father has given you agency, the ability to choose right from wrong and to act for yourself. You have been given the Holy Ghost to help you know good from evil. While you are here on earth, you are being proven to see if you will use your agency to show your love for God by keeping His commandments. While you are free to choose for yourself, you are not free to choose the consequences of your actions. That's a very good point, isn't it? You're free to choose for yourself, but you're not free to choose the consequences of your actions. Those things come with the choices. When you make a choice, you will receive the consequences of that choice. The consequences may not be immediate, but they will always follow, for good or bad. Wrong choices delay your progression and lead to heartache and misery. Right choices lead to happiness and eternal life. That is why it is so important for you to choose what is right throughout your life. You are responsible for the choices you make. You should not blame your circumstances, your family, or your friends if you choose to disobey God's commandments. You are a child of God with great strength. You have the ability to choose righteousness and happiness no matter what your circumstances. You are also responsible for developing the abilities and talents Heavenly Father has given you. You are accountable to Him for what you do with your abilities and how you spend your time. Do not idle away your time. Be willing to work hard. Choose to do many good things of your own free will. You can check out Matthew 25, 14-29, or the scripture I read at the beginning, 2 Nephi 2.27. That's in Book 1. The other is in the Bible. Okay, that's all for now. I'll tell you, I'll give you some more of these. There are, how many are there on these? There are agency and accountability, gratitude, education, family, friends, dress and appearance, entertainment and the media, music and dancing, language, dating, sexual purity, repentance, honesty, Sabbath day observance, tithes and offerings, physical health, service to others, and then go forward in faith, the living Christ, and a proclamation to the world and family. Okay, so there's a bunch of them. I'll read them to you on subsequent videos. Okay, today saying. You can do this at home. 
you can choose the right. Choose the right when a choice is placed before you in the right. The Holy Spirit guides and its light is forever shining or you be safe through inspiration power. Choose the right, choose the right. Let wisdom mark the way before. In its light, choose the right. And God will bless you ever. Okay, ta-ta. If you want to learn more, go to www.mormon.org. Ta-ta.